السلام عليك ايتها الحوراء الانسيه to know whether God has a plan or not because sometimes we really have doubts when we go through difficulty just examine your surroundings too often we say is that fair why is that fair I hear that from many people when you go through a trial why is that fair Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have stopped this why did he not I'm trying to be good I'm supplicating I'm praying I'm fasting I'm charitable but still I'm going through this difficulty Fatima alayhi salam teaches us in these moments know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the king of the universe. He's managing everything. He's got a plan. Don't worry. Sometimes when you feel like your life is going through a lot of difficulties and obstacles, you feel like the universe is falling apart, right? <laughs> Isn't that how we feel? That's because we center ourselves in this universe. We think the universe revolves around us. But Tawheed means no. You connect yourself to Allah who is the center of the universe. It's okay. He has a plan for you. And if you want to know whether God has a plan or not, because sometimes we really have doubts when we go through difficulty, just examine your surroundings. Examine this universe and you see that everything in this universe knows exactly what to do Accept this confused human being. There's nothing confused around you. Just inspect the whole universe from a subatomic level to a grand universal level to a cosmic level. There's nothing confused in this universe. Have you ever seen a confused atom not knowing know what to do? An electron that's confused. Do I spin this way or that way? How many times should I spin? Everything is in perfect order. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inspired it what to do. Look at the world of animals. They know exactly what to do. Some animals, sometimes if you think that you have a heavy workload, believe me, some of these animals put our workload to shame. Look at some of these ants, the honeybees, the beavers, the penguins, the female lions. Do you know how hard they work? just to continue surviving too often we forget about that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the ant in the Holy Quran mentions the bee in the Holy Quran why for us to reflect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says I have revealed and inspired the honeybee you know when you look at a honeycomb or a beehive you see an entire company subhanallah how every member of that company knows what to do. The CEO is the queen bee, right? She reproduces. And you have all these types of workers. You have, for instance, those worker bees, which are all female. You know what they do? Those worker bees, their task is to get the nectar from the field bees. The field bees are those who go out there and bring the nectar and any other things that they need to run their company. These female worker bees, they get the nectar and they start regurgitating it so many times, filtering the water out so it becomes this pure honey. And then you know what else they do? Today you have the AC that regulates the temperature in the building and your house. You're comfortable sleeping on the couch, doing your work. You don't have to work hard for that. These animals have to work hard for that. When it becomes cold in the winter, all these worker bees, you know what they do? They have to flap their wings to generate some heat over there. Imagine, round the clock, 24 hours a day, they take shifts to do that. In the summer, they spray some water on the honeycomb to keep it cool. It's an entire army working. My dear brothers and sisters, no one in this universe is confused except this miserable human being. SubhanAllah. And you know what the irony is? We have the intellect. Allah has given us the great intellect. 
that can perceive his greatness yet we have allowed our desires our weaknesses our temptations to overpower the intellect we have the greatest intellect out of all these creations yet we're the most confused creation Fatima السلام, teaches us to dispel these misconceptions don't be confused know what your role is center your life around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifully in the Holy Quran tells us that the whole universe, the entire universe knows what to do. And is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it knows what to do. But not all people. There are some people who are confused. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Surah Al-Hajj, memorize this fascinating verse. Verse 18. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ do you but not see that anything prostrates to Allah, submits to Allah in the heavens, in the earth. وَالشَّمْسُ The sun. وَالْقَمَرُ The moon. وَالنُّجُومُ The stars. وَالْجِبَالُ The mountains. وَالشَّجَرُ The trees. وَالدَّوَابُ The animals. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ But when Allah comes to the people, Allah doesn't say all people. كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ A lot of people, yes, they do submit to God. But not everyone. Because there are confused people. And this confusion, my dear brothers and sisters, is the greatest cause of our miseries in the 21st century. The loneliness, the depression that we have, the confusions that we have. People are lost. And you know what the irony is? We have the intellect. Subhanallah.